What's it doing? There. Okay. All right, so this is the Bubba sterilizer drum, and uh, it can be used for many applications. This is a 30 gallon drum. It has two heating element holes. Uh, you can have it with one, you can have it with two, you can have it with three, you can configure however many elements you need. This one is configured with two 5,500 watt elements, so a total of uh, 11,000 watts. And it's actually being driven by a PID controller. So this is a, the 30 step brand soak. So it's gonna bring this, the substrate up to temperature, hold it there, and then I have a lower set temp for cool down, and then I have it kick on an alarm relay to kick on the positive pressure HEPA. Um, some of the features of it, it has a port for a gauge, a pressure gauge, which shouldn't be reading anything, but you want to have it just in case to see if you have any pressure. Uh, we're probably also going to have it with a thermometer so you can see the temperature inside your drum. And then it just has two safety pressure reliefs in case of the event that uh, you get restriction and you don't want to you don't want to have the drum explode on you the main thing So this is running at zero psi. It's not a boiler It's like a more similar to a sauna steamer. So the, the steam coming out is at your atmospheric temperature So from there it has a what it brings a one and a half or a two inch pipe Do you remember? I think it's a one and a half one and a half inch it has a one and a half inch pipe threading on the top over here and it pump steam into whatever you have. So you can use this for generating steam for multiple troughs. You can have it for uh, generating steam for some kind of steam shed or a proofer or whatever. Um, you can even do a bunch of drums and have you know 55 or 130 gallon drums and have one of these with a valve that switches to which one it runs to. Similar to what Brian Callow has where he has a 10 gang of drums with one boiler or two boilers. Um, and that'll make it to where this thing will be running more often. Um, and then you just switch the steam. It also has a drain valve, and that's an important feature for something like this. When you're boiling, only the water evaporates. All your minerals stay inside of here. So over a boil cycle, your mineral content, if it might have been, say, 100 to 300 parts per million to start off, if you boiled off your water 10 times, it's going to be 10 times that. So you have to drain off your water every time. What Brad has here, um, he has a little pump that pumps it out and then it goes into his shop sink. And that, that has to be done every single cycle. Otherwise, what's gonna happen is your elements are gonna get it all crapped up, your flow valve is gonna get all crapped up, and then the inside of the drum is gonna get all lined with calcium and other kind of minerals. Very important to drain that. Um, we're probably gonna make it available also, also with the uh, PID control if you want. You can also just, if you wanna do 4,500 watts or less, you can go to Auburn Instruments and get their 4500 watt controller, it's plug and play, it's like $250. But this drum is more for the more serious uh, wattages where you're talking you know, two, three, or four elements. Um, it's all stainless steel construction. The elements, you wanna put stainless steel elements in there, that way it doesn't rot them out. And yeah, so hopefully you like this video. Uh, check out the description, in the description below, I'll put the link for where you can purchase this. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at Myers Mushrooms, and it's M-Y-E-R-S Mushrooms at gmail.com if you have any questions about application use of this or if you have one and you're trying to figure out how to rig it up. So make sure you like this video. Um, check out my other videos on mushroom cultivation and how to, how to set up a small mushroom grow. And take it easy. Keep on mushrooming.